XRP, 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 to where the Bulls are always at the gates getting ready to run. High Vibe Assets back again, family. We just got more bomb drops and more news continues to come out on the Ripple versus the SEC case. We got it all. We got the Omnicus briefs. We got the new summary judgment filings. We got it all here. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you can make sure that you always get all of the high vibes. Always the same thing. Every single day, XRP bullish news. Also over here on my Twitter page, family, go ahead and give me a follow. Follow me at High Vibe Assets to where you're going to get the latest news. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We got some information for you today. I just want to start off with this video by showing this man, hey, we are almost ready for that bullish season. We are almost ready for the bulls to get out of the gate. We got Egrad Crypto right here showing us a chart letting us know that, hey, a $27 XRP price could be right around the corner. Everybody pack those bags. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, but buckle up, family. We are almost going to the moon. Things are getting spicy, man. We got the polka dot CEO Gavin Wood stepping down. This is about the third or the fourth CEO from a digital asset company that has been stepping down. Can you say regulations on the way? Can you say more lawsuits on the way? I don't know, family, but keep your eyes up and make sure that you don't miss a beat. Here we have here from Blockworks and Blockworks. I consider them the same as CoinDesk, you know, media outlets that are not on the side of Ripple, that are not on the side of the XRP community. And they have not been reporting on this case at all. But all of a sudden. Since the case is turning in the favor of Ripple, you have these media outlets coming out. And I understand, you know, they can't really report everything saying that, hey, that this is a small victory that the SEC had to hand over the Bill Hinman emails. But we know that it's a huge victory. We understand what this come with. We've seen all of the news. We've seen all of the things that continues to come out. Things are getting spicy Things are heating up, family. Make sure you're packing those bags. Make sure you're adding to those bags. Things are about to get real bullish. Here we have right here, we have another Omnicus brief from another company. This company is named Spin the Bits. I mean, more support is coming from Ripple every day. You had all of these people when the SEC Ripple lawsuit first came out. Everybody was on the side of the SEC. Oh yeah, Ripple, XRP, it's a banker's coin. It's a, it's, a, it's a security. Now you're seeing the narrative starting to change and people are starting to become on the Ripple side and starting to know that XRP may be labeled as digital currency, even as money. Let's take a look at this Omnicus brief by Spin the Bits, a company out of Alberta, Canada, just letting the courts know that, hey, we use the XRP ledger because of its utility and we love the technology and we need to be able to use this technology to fund or to make sure that our company is running right. Let's take a look at what it says. Here. I'm going to read a line for you and everybody. You can go back and read this on your own, but there's just so much information that we have to make sure that we're in tune following along. We got spin the business says the main focus is to provide interoperable multi-currency payment solutions around the globe. Transferring Bitcoin on a Bitcoin network can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, depending on the traffic network. With spin the bits, it takes three to five seconds to complete the transaction on the XRP ledger as a business that relies on XRP and the XRP ledger as a vital piece of its operation, Spin the Bits not only has an interest in the outcome of this litigation, but it but its use cases also deprives disproves the SEC's allegations that investors in XRP cannot take most or any of the or any of the steps 
that Ripple has taken to grow the XRP ecosystem. And Spin the Bits is letting them know that Ripple is not the only company that can come on the XRP ledger and build their business. This is one thing that we have to understand, family, that, you know, this case, we have to get by this case because Ripple is not an investment contract to the XRP token. What's going to happen when another company comes in, when another major conglomerate company comes in and utilizes the XRP ledger for their company and utilizes the XRP token for its utility for their company? Are we going to go out and sue them? Are we going to say that XRP holders have an investment contract with another company? Does XRP holders have an investment contract with TAP remits or, or, or I remits? Do XRP holders have an investment contract with tap jets affiliates all family it is getting good and the thing that kind of worries me a little bit and really and and, and and what i want everybody to understand that it may be some criminal activity going on because the things that the sr that the sec is saying in their briefs and saying in their filings they're switching up their narratives they're saying this one time and they're saying that one time they're 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 switching their angles it's letting me know that hey the sec might be trying to protect themselves in this case instead of actually winning it you know don't believe it man that still could be true the sec could know that the case is already over with and they could be maneuvering things so they can possibly in the future go out to other tokens and go out to other companies let's take a look at this filing that the sec had just filed in is mirandarum in opposition to the ripples defendants motion for summary judgment and when you look at this we take at page 77 for some reason the sec has the notion to defend the ethereum token and the ethereum chain i mean what's going on i thought that this was the case to try to see if xrp is a security or not i'm telling you what family Things are getting spicy and we do not want to miss out because the this case is going to be the case that's going to shape the narrative for the whole entire digital asset space. This case right here is the most groundbreaking case in, in I would say, in financial history. A brand new asset class, a brand new sector. Could be another piece of the S&P 500. Could be another piece of the stock market. You have these big conglomerates coming in with custodial services. You got BNY Mellon. You got BlackRock. You got Chase. You have JP Morgan. Load those bags, family. Look at what the SEC is saying right here. This holding, however, relied on the manner in which Ethereum blockchain validated transactions at the time. Using a first-to-the-flag mechanism, that rewarded the first code to solve a complex computable problem and making that node the one to validate the transaction. As defendants take pains to point out, however, this is not how the XRP ledger operates. And we understand that these are two different blockchains and these two blockchains operate in a different level. Why is the SEC bringing up Ethereum when we're talking about Ripple? We're trying to find out is the sales of XRP a security? Is XRP token a security? Does the XRP token have an investment contract with the company Ripple. This is what we're trying to figure out. What is the SEC talking about talking about Ethereum for? Are they trying to hide themselves and are they trying to protect themselves? Are they trying to set something up for a future date? Make sure that we stay in tune, family. I'm telling you, I'm thinking that this case is already settled. I'm thinking that Ripple has already won this case. Smash that like button if you agree with me. Smash that subscribe button if you agree with me. Turn on those notifications if you agree with me. Here we have right here, we have the SEC trying to make the case to the court that every XRP token on Every different mark on every market is a security to make this case that Ripple sold securities. The SEC has to ignore 
by law, has to ignore the law, has to ignore the fact of the essential utility of the XRP ledger in on-demand liquidity. Are you telling me that they have to ignore this? You think these lawyers and these big-time lawyers and these, you know, uh, all these guys over there on that case, do you think that they don't know this? We have to understand, family, when we're dealing with cases of this magnitude, the SEC, they're going to go through every opportunity, every case. They're going to do everything to try to win this case. But we all know that XRP could be declared as money. And I'm going to bet that, man. If anybody wants to bet me on that, XRP is going to be given a designation of some type of money. Whether if it's a note, whether if it's uh, a digital currency designation, whether if it's a bridge, a bridge asset designation, it's going to be given some way as money. Let's see what the SEC is saying. Basically, the SEC is saying that $10 billion have been made in on-demand liquidity. And all it does is just showing that the parties have bought and resold XRP on the secondary market. This activity is not payment activity. The figure is further is further misleading because it is a small part, 0.12% of the trillions of dollars in total XRP trading volume through the filing of this lawsuit. Finally, this figure improperly relies on data bloated by adding trader by adding trading accounts that post date the filing of this case. The SEC is just going so many low blows. They know that they're out of this case. They can't turn to the left anymore. They can't turn to the right anymore. We all know that the bulls are out of the gates and they're about to get ready to run. This is probably one of the most exciting times that we've been having ever since 2020 when the SEC put the lawsuit against Ripple and it wiped out $20 billion immediately out of the market. The price went from a dollar and 90 something cents all the way down to 17 cents because of this unlawful lawsuit that's been put on the company Ripple. Now all of the evidence is being shown. Now all of the evidence is being put out. You have all of these companies that use the XRP ledger that use the on-demand liquidity that use the xrp token for their business outside of ripple xrp is not a security i'm turned up man i told you when you come on this channel the vibes are always high and let's take a look at this video right here i'm just gonna let it play man it's a real good video and i think man that every one of us is gonna like is letting us know man that the gates are already open man that the floodgates are already running that the bulls or at the gates that it's about to be bullish season. And that letting us know that full digital asset cryptocurrency blockchain adoption is here. Or something on the horizon. It's here. A reality today. Crypto. And it's already a part of how businesses and people trade, move, and manage value. In 2021, established financial institutions such as PayPal, Square, Visa, and MasterCard built out crypto-based products and services. This type of institutional enthusiasm indicates that crypto is here to stay. Today, enterprises are looking to diversify asset holdings, to offer crypto trading services to end customers, to pay employees in crypto, and to accept crypto as a form of payment. To support these activities, institutions need access to crypto liquidity. Coming in 2022 and beyond, at Ripple, we are building Liquidity Hub. Once launched, Ripple's Liquidity Hub platform will enable companies to seamlessly access crypto from a variety of venues. The product will support a turnkey integration and allow companies to offer their end customers the ability to buy, sell, and hold crypto. Enterprises will be able to maintain separate accounts via Ripple's custody solution and monitor and analyze transactions through a comprehensive dashboard. But that will be just the beginning for Liquidity Hub. As a leading liquidity platform, it will enable many additional enterprise applications for crypto and serve as a cost-effective way to source a variety of new and cutting-edge crypto assets. Join us for this exciting journey as we explore new horizons and applications of crypto.
It's bullish, man. This is how I vibe ass says I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Let everyone know. Tell everybody around you. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your sister. Tell your brother. Tell your cousin that the bulls are at the gates getting ready to run.